Welcome to the World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. An Australian search official says it's very likely that debris found on the French island of Reunion belongs to Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. The wing part is being sent to France for analysis. Earlier, the Malaysian government had said the same thing. The Australian searcher says he is increasingly confident the piece belongs to a Boeing 777. MH370 was a 777 and went missing in March last year while travelling from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. Australia has led extensive searches that have so far turned up no trace of the plane or the 239 people on board. MH370 is the only 777 reported missing. Security officials in Turkey have announced they've arrested 212 people with suspected links to militant groups. So far, more than 1,300 people from across the country have been detained in what the government calls anti-terror operations. Most people are accused of belonging to ISIS, the outlawed PKK, or the far-left DHKPC. Early Friday morning, two PKK militants killed two police officers in Andana. Since last week, PKK and ISIS militants have killed 16 police officers and soldiers across the country. The violence dates back to July 20th, when a suicide bombing in Suruj killed 32 people. Government suspects ISIS is responsible. Police say a man who stabbed six people at a Jerusalem gay pride parade had done it before. The suspect, Yishai Schlissel, had recently been released from prison for stabbing people at a pride parade in 2005. A police spokeswoman says Schlissel was arrested at the scene and two people are in critical condition. A giant panda named Yuan Yuan is suspected of faking pregnancy to get special treatment. The Taipei Zoo's panda had been artificially inseminated and was showing signs of pregnancy. Breeding experts say some pandas have been known to fake pregnancies to get special treatment, but other scientists say pseudo-pregnancies are common and could just be a way for the body to rehearse pregnancy. Pandas have a notoriously low birth rate. Thanks for watching TRT.com Istanbul.